Hi guys, I thought it was really important to make this video because it's all about managing expectations because I'm getting lots and lots of messages about IB and A level and obviously I'm here to help but I'm one person and I have very limited time basically. So I just want to talk to you about how I'm going to approach my A level IB videos. So the first thing to note, and I actually was reading through your comments and then I noticed this comment which I'm popping up now. Okay, it's pretty rude, first of all, to whoever he was responding to or she was responding to. Um, some of the ways in which you guys talk to each other, I am genuinely completely shocked. I don't get it whatsoever, but this, this video isn't about me talking about trolls or people being mean to each other. Same with some of the comments I get. I know that this goes on, but it's just very, very strange behaviour to me when someone's trying to help you to abuse them. Um, but I do quite enjoy some of my comebacks, so if any of you have seen some of those comments, maybe you've seen some of my replies, because I do quite enjoy not just sitting there and taking it. But looking at this comment in particular, it is totally true, regardless of the rudeness that starts it. IB and A level is exceptionally similar in lots of ways. You're doing high level biology, you're doing high level chemistry. This means there are certain topics, many topics in fact, which will be the same for both. For example, alpha glucose is the same structure regardless of whether you study it at A level or IB. Same for orbitals, when we're talking about chemistry, talking about sublevels. Again, it's the same for A level and IB. So people moaning on at me for not making IB videos, I think I'm going to have to rename my videos and just call them A level and IB because they are the same topics. And let's be honest guys, now you're doing higher level biology, chemistry, physics, whatever. The whole structure changes in terms of your learning. You guys are nearly adults, some of you are already 17, 18. You might be going on to higher education at university. And let me tell you, at university there won't be any videos to help there. You'll be expected to sit in the lecture with all your notes and be able to pick through them and work out what's going on. So you need to take a bit of responsibility for your own learning here, even if it's just making sure that you're watching the right video. Because I'm going to make general videos, so I'll make general videos on biological molecules, general vid videos on sub-levels in the periodic table, general videos on high-level calculations in chemistry. So what I mean to say is, don't be put off if it says IB and you're an A-level person. Many topics are the same and the whole point of the videos is to give you a better understanding. It's not to talk you through every last specification point because clearly that is impossible considering the huge number of exam boards there are. One thing I do want to add from an ease of use point of view, when it is a generic topic like calculations in chemistry, in the description box below the video, I will actually split up the video to show the different type of calculations. So just click on the link to take you through to the appropriate calculation. So for example, if you're only after the ideal gas equation, click on the link and you'll start the video from there. And I'll try and do the same with the biology videos. Yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and that person's comment, he's completely right. The stuff is exceptionally similar and it can definitely be helpful for both IB and A-level.